Hi dear students welcome to the online classes prepared and presented by Mr Abdul Munaf assistant professor English department This class is meant for MA English degree students and Calicut University Today let's discuss the poem punishment by Seamus Heaney Here is the seventh stanza of the poem. You were flaxen-haired, undernourished, and your tar black face was beautiful, my poor scapegoat. What does this stanza explain? This stanza explains about the past state of the young girl. The lyrical voice remembers that she was beautiful before, with her flaxen hair, undernourished, and her tar black face. Dear students these images contrast with those depicted before as the girl although in a past state is mentioned as beautiful so you can see the contrast of the images uh, that were uh, pictured before Here is the explanation for that as the girl although in a past state is mentioned as beautiful A look at the last two lines of the poem uh, last two lines of this stanza tar black face was beautiful my poor scapegoat please look at the last two lines of the stanza tar black face was beautiful my poor scapegoat Dear students this stanza is very important here in this poem because the tone of the poem shifts and the lyrical voice feels a sort of pity towards the girl moreover the girl is mentioned with the possessive my the word my and she is described as a fragile victim yeah you can see this uh and the phrase poor scapegoat okay poor scapegoat fragile victim in short the speaker imagines the living girl and turns her into a beautiful human being flaxen means pale yellow in color which contrasts severely with the tar black face so as we discussed earlier it's a contrast you can see a uh, a sympathetic factor what is it a sympathetic factor or the speaker's sympathy for the girl uh, from the usage my poor scapegoat it reinforces the speaker's sympathy for the girl a scapegoat is someone who gets the blame for what others have done it can be found in the bible where a goat was sent out into the desert after a priest laid the sins of the people upon it so it's a reference from bible so why is this lines are crucial in this poem because the tone of the poem shifts and the lyrical voices feels a sort of pity or sympathy uh, towards the girl